Hi, good morning. I wish you a very happy new year, 2023. I have come to a beautiful place called Jarakabande Nagaravanna Oxygen Park. In a place called Ramagundan Nahali, which is 25 km from heart of Bangalore city and around 10 km from Yalahanka. It is basically a forest converted into a park for the nature lovers, for the people who wants to do jogging, cycling or walking. We'll see what is there inside. Let's explore. Also, just 100 feet from this place, there is a Ayurvedic Institute called IAIM. This park has a lot of birds over here, especially the peacock. Giant ants are here. There are a lot of snakes. Let's take a walk all around this park. It is around 7.2 km. And uh, we will see a lot of trees it is famous for a lot of butterflies there are different kinds of butterflies inside these are called wood almond tree i have come here along with my childhood friend here hello especially the gleams of this early morning sunshine it is so pleasant when it falls on the tree trunks it gives a different color altogether and we feel so fresh and energized looking at the same this is a tamarind tree in hindi it is called imli it is used in most of the south indian curries with a sour taste it gives it's very good for health Can you hear the sound of the peacock? Yes. This small water body over here. Look at those birds. Small. These are like a species of bamboo trees. It's slightly different from the bamboos we find in the northeastern part of India or China the leaves are pretty small but very beautiful look at the yellowish green color on their surface after the sunlight reflecting on the leaves as I said we are walking around this forest and you can see here outside and for a long distance, you don't see any houses or any big buildings. It's quite away from the city crowd. This park is also known as Jakarabanda Kaval Tree Park. This is a 32 hectare forest area being converted into a park in 2015. The speciality of this park is that it has many eucalyptus trees. When we enter the park, we will feel a very nice fragrance of this eucalyptus and this is very good for our lungs of our pulmonary tract now we are climbing towards a, a peak point here it's a big stone actually from here you can have a very beautiful view of the entire terrain you can see this nice view of the Bangalore city from this point Apart from jogging, people come here to do cycling as well. Because whenever people come to Bangalore, they know mostly about uh, Lalbagh, Kaban Park, and where you'll find a big rock at the middle of the Lalbagh Park. That is very famous for tourist attraction. And at the center of that particular stone, there is a statue of the Bangalore founder, Kempe Gouda's place there and this particular place is almost similar to that and uh, it's very natural and you'll enjoy coming over here here's another peak we have come over here 
This place is comparatively at quite higher altitude and uh, you will see it is very slanting and you will have a very beautiful view from this place. You know what, I didn't want to miss this opportunity to sit in this particular rock. It's such a beautiful and uh, with a glimpse of the sun falling on my face. A little bit uh, slanting here. The rock structure, you have to put a little effort to come over. I'm sure people come here for meditation. Yeah, we can come along with our families also, right? Oh, really? really. Very beautiful place. All natural actually. There is you won't find anything artificially made. That is something rare now in today's world, right? <laughs> I feel that they always try to say something about the past, about the history. <laughs> we are fortunate that there are no ferocious animals. There could be a lot of snakes inside in the dense forest. They are just walking around the perimeter of this jungle. And I feel a similar experience like I used to have when I was doing the tracking in the Kaziranga National Park in Assam. This is also equally beautiful place. I'm sure we are burning a good amount of calories today. So we have reached another water body inside this forest. Those are some of the villagers carrying fire roots. And those are morning walkers. You find lots of eucalyptus trees over here. Due to which we'll have a very beautiful fragrance it makes our mind so fresh we could not have spent a better morning than this today in this new year so i'll tell you one very interesting thing too now so whenever i used to come to this kind of places like either either it is a forest or any religious place like church or temple so whenever i meet people I keep talking, even though they are strangers, and I feel so good. The beauty is that the people of similar mindset go to these similar kind of places. So you won't have any inhibitions to talk to these people, even though you, go, you don't know them. So this is something very interesting thing. That's what I am talking with my friend now. He's also saying the same thing. So this is like our very natural instinct that we build but I realize yes you can meet people, talk, make friends and you can spread the positive energy and share really it's amazing right so I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the God uh, for bringing me in this beautiful place in this New Year, along with my uh, best friend, is uh, studied together from class one, and I enjoyed this beautiful morning over here. Really, I'm considering myself very fortunate in the middle of this nature. Hope you enjoyed this journey along with me.